Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our second bout of the evening. So would you welcome into the cage, Matthew Davison. <laughs> This is middleweight amateur mixed martial arts over three three-minute rounds of combat and your warriors in the cage. In the red corner, he weighed in at 82.2K. He represents Bat Cave MMA, Matthew Davison. And his opponent in the blue corner. He weighed in at 82.6K. He represents Familia do Jiu Jitsu, Matt Painter! Your referee, Mr. Andrew Nichols. We get ready for middleweight action here. Matthew Davison in the red corner versus Matt Painter in the blue. Both men well supported here and straight to ground, Dean. Davison on the bottom there trying to work the guard. Painter is on top. And straight from the bell, really. Um, who did you see initiate that, Dean? Both went to centre cage to uh, get to the takedown. And I believe it was painter that dropped down his jiu-jitsu background he seems comfortable in these positions particularly in the clinch yes looking to transition Look. there side control and Davison really looking to get back to his feet here Dean. Davison here looking for the switch perhaps turn it into a single leg there Davison looking to reach out for that leg you'll see painter try and cinch up that arm to swivel to the back Davison quite rightly grabs that inside leg, prevents the back take. But as you said, Painter set out his stall early, as you said, with that 
jiu-jitsu background, familiar to jiu-jitsu, his team, and he's in control here at the moment. Looking for the, the crucifix position, he's wrapped that arm up, the right arm. Dangerous times here for Davison. He'll look to hook the other arm and do damage here. As you said, those little punches were to distract Davison so he can get here. Davison, though, doing a good job defensively here. Painter looking for that choke that looks really tight. Difficult to see from this position where we're announcing from, but he's got that cinched up. It's a funny angle. Davison seems like he's worked his neck out there. Good job by Davison. And he takes the mount, wow. Oh, what a reversal there, because he was in real trouble, wasn't he, Dean? He nearly got his back taken. He had it in the crucifix position as he just gets swept by Painter. It's a back and forth jiu-jitsu battle from these two fighters. Now, Painter, as, as we said, he had the, the early dominance. Then, when Davison reversed, but Painter, for me, it was, it was quite easy for him to reverse again, which must be worrying for Davidson at the moment. Davidson on the bottom there. Painter doing a good job of forcing his hip through. Oh, looking for a leg lock here. Could be the straight Achilles lock. Just slips out. And again, Painter back to his feet. <laughs> From the ground, Painter looking to keep Davidson there. Davidson looking to sprawl. He's made it very clear where he wants this, Matt Painter, hasn't he? Painter now on top, looking to do some damage. What I like about him, he's got great jiu-jitsu skills, but he adds the ground and pound in there. It distracts your opponent, enables you to advance your positions. So we heard that last 10 seconds, and from the start of the round to the end, apart from a, a little moment there for Davison, Painter's been in control, hasn't he? Painter again, as the bell sounds, with that back control, looking to do some damage there. Painter just mixing up the strikes with the jiu-jitsu to advance his positions. Davison doing a great job of defending and actually got the mount as well, so it's a back and forth battle between these two. The problem was that he couldn't keep that mount for very long, could he? Because Painter reversed it again. And I always say, when we're talking about brilliant defense, it means your opponent's doing the offensive work, which is gonna catch the judge's eyes. Painter's obviously got the jiu-jitsu back down, but Davidson doing his prep against his opponent. It's obviously worked the defense and it's showing in this fight. So Dean, if you were in Matthew Davidson's corner, you'd say you've defended well, but what would you do to turn this around, having had a good look at Matt Painter? To try and start to work the feet, try and work the hands, again like we saw earlier with the sprawl of brawl. And if it does go to the floor, try and stay on top. So here we go, round two or three. So a dominant opening round for Matt Painter once he got it to the canvas. Matthew Davison, will he try and keep it up right? Little left hook there and a front push kick. And again, Painter set out his stall immediately. But a nice reversal. You heard the fans of Davison there. And he needs to catch the, the, the arm. Oh, he could have this. This is really tight. Painter frantically trying to work out. He's going to circle off. Beautifully done. A textbook escape. Well, Davison had his moment there early in the round. The corner spoke to him. He obviously worked on it, but now he finds himself being mounted by Matt Painter, who's looking, as you said, to mix up his jiu-jitsu with good old-fashioned ground and bound. And he's in a superb position for it now, looking to trap that left arm. Davison went for that armbar, and often if you take an armbar from that position, if you miss it, this is what happens. You can end up on the bottom, and it's not the best when the person can punch you in the face. Again, as we saw, exactly the same thing from Painter. He went for a submission, he lost the position, and now he's on the bottom fighting to get back up. He's got great leg control. He just manipulates Davison around in the scrambles. Dean, this second round, what a way to start. Both men having their opportunities. And really, these opportunities, as we've seen, have to be capitalised on because now Painter is in such good position for this ground and pound striking. And Andrew Nichols looking very closely at Matthew Davison for intelligent defence here, but he's in a very bad position. Painter's doing the, the great idea of feel, oh yes, it's all over. The wow, TKO win for Matt Painter. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Went on top, kept pounding it out. He must have sensed the referee was there, knowing the TKO was in him, imminent, and carried on with those shots and got the TKO win. Oh, TKO win. Beautiful stuff from Matt Painter. Ladies and gentlemen, before I make the official announcement on this one, please, let's hear it for both your warriors in the cage. But we do have your winner.
by way of ground and pound in one minute 30 of round two. It's the blue corner, Matt Painter.